Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender all negative energies and intend immediately and permanently. I call in on it the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy okay whatever the enemy has stolen from you it is returned to you all evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled being dismantled as we speak okay as i have said so shall it be <coughs> judgment is final let's go ahead and do our tea oracle leave See, leave oracles. I can never like figure out what to say the right way. Your angels are watching over you and protecting you. Is what the universe wants you to know. But I can never again. It came out. Your angels are watching over you and protecting you. Look at that. But I can never figure out if I should say like tea oracle, leave tea leaf oracle, honey. It don't make no difference. You all know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what comes out today. I hope you all are doing well, staying blessed and highly favored because you always are. By the Most High, by your angels, your ancestors, they're always watching over you. And then they said they want to be you. That's why they're stalking you. Uh, so you have some stalkers on your hands. Oh, collective. What are you going to do? Okay. So uh, we have the pipe here. Uh, basically, this means that something has been flushed out of your life. If you are experiencing some type of trouble in life, expect it to kind of disappear um, because your ancestors, your angels are working on your behalf behind the scenes. They are settling the scores for you, bringing balance into situation and you will receive some type of um, relief from your troubles and things like that. Um, and you need to also take time to reorganize your life as far as letting go of things that no longer serve you, whether they, they be like, uh, people, places, things, whatever it is, let it go. Like basically declutter your life, flush, do some type of like spiritual or physical flushing, emotional flushing, mental flushing of things that no longer serve you, including people, places and things. Okay. So let's go ahead and get, get into our tarot tarot reading card i don't know what the heck is going on is that what i'm saying what i'm wanting to say is not coming out so maybe someone is doing some type of word magic out there you need to settle down calm down calm down betsy calm down oh i said yeah there's someone doing some type of ritual out there okay so we have someone out here that may be uh disappointed because whatever lies they've been telling gossiping and things like that it is out the truth is out Someone is not able to hide something anymore. This is something that was always meant to happen. There's some type of epiphany going on, either about actions a king of pentacles took or some type, something a king of pentacles may be doing to put an end to a cycle um, here. This could be an emperor that does want to meet with you, work with you, and sees you as your empress energy, does want to have victory with you in love, right? So someone may have a lot of emotions for you and may be thinking of you uh, and things like that. So just keep that in mind. Again, uh, I've mentioned this before. I try not to really make my readings about love, but it is going to come out because that is a big aspect of our lives and things like that. But someone does want to have a new beginning with you. So they may be coming towards you to give you something or balance something out. Uh, someone is doing a lot of introspections and things like that. Someone may even be receiving some type of uh, uh, advice, counseling or something like that from someone um, else, like a third party or going to a practitioner or maybe just even talking to their spirit guides, their soul guides to get a higher perspective on what is going on so that they can have a successful collaboration with you, working with you and things like that. You could have someone that's trying to think of how they can Come to worship someone may be standing their ground protecting themselves behind the scenes and they could be protecting whatever this is that they want to have with you someone may be hiding their moves they're moving in silence moving in secrets be cautious because there is some type of lie that was told to someone to prevent someone from giving you an opportunity and this is why there's a third party behind the scenes that is absolutely pissed off throwing some type of temper and tantrum because they're gossiping it's not working anymore there's balance being brought into a situation things are moving in the right direction so this could be pissing someone out people have foresight 
point of what someone has been doing or why something went the way that it did. And, and so now people may be holding back from a king of pentacles in, uh, in a community, uh, wherever this is, right? This could be in school, in church, at work. People are holding back from a king of pentacles because they're seeing him as someone who is a liar and wanted to force some type of new beginning with a queen of cups. But this person is heavily protected and knew exactly what a king of pentacles was doing to cause conflict in their lives. Someone may even want to communicate with you so that what they can start some type of new karmic cycle with you. There could be a king of pentacles out here trying to cause some type of ending for a king of cups. Maybe this king of cups has a lot of interest in you and sees you as their empress. Um, there's something where I'm getting is like a king of pentacles has been competing with a king of cups for someone who the king of cups is interested in. So this is like a king of cups, uh, feels that you are their soulmate and they have a lot of emotions for you. They hold you in a very high regard. Yeah, they hold you in a very high regard and maybe they were interested in you, but someone was not confident within themselves to make a move. Maybe they went to third parties or wherever it is to get advice. And there were parties in there causing some type of hiccup as far as lying, gossiping and things like that. And maybe that masculine didn't know at the time. And maybe he fell for it and he believed what they told him. They may have told him that you were obligated or something like that. Or you were someone that was into magic and things like that. They may have told someone that you were absolutely married. So then Instead of him coming towards you, he got stuck in his mind thinking about, well, I can't really approach this person because they're in a relationship. They told him that you were binded to someone else or you were weighed down or something, had a lot of burdens going on. So he may have kept his distance from you. Okay. But there is some type of truth that's out. Someone cannot hide something anymore. Whatever action someone took right to end you and cause some type of blockages and things like that, someone is being seen for exactly who they are. People do have foresight, okay, of everything that has been taking place. Maybe it took a while for him and other people to see the truth, but the truth is out now. You know, sometimes you just got to be patient with how things play out because we may, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone is receiving some type of karmic justice behind the scenes. They're not liking it, but there's nothing we can do to help them. This is the energy someone projected out there. So of course it's going to be returned to them. You know, there's really nothing we can do when it comes to how things move and what direction they're moving in. We kind of just have to strap on our seat belts and Take things one day at a time and, you know, endure that ride. And so now things are going from some type of hectic uh, period for you and going into calmness, right? Whereas people were confused be before about maybe why you were doing certain things, maybe why you disappear out of an environment or wh why you stop talking to someone, why a relationship came to an end, whatever it is for all of you. Um, people now have foresight that you were really just standing up for yourself to maintain some type of balance or to heal in your life and protect your investments and stay focused and disciplined so that you could master yourself. Okay. So there could have been something where there was a union that was supposed to come together and people were trying to cause blockages and things like that. But the spirit realm has been protecting this union, whether it's a a union of work or love there's something that's being protected and it will come together yeah people were trying to steal this there could be a couple or a community that was trying to steal a block some type of union uh, someone could end up sneaking away from a community right now they may be holding back trying to figure out their best move there could be someone still trying to play some type of mental game with a masculine energy in a community or a feminine energy within a community so this person may be holding them, holding back from them and is keeping them trapped in some type of mental imprisonment, self-imposed mental imprisonment because they're not, they're not able to manipulate someone anymore and it's causing them to be, to feel weighed down because someone has been manipulating a community for a long time, uh, about you particular, particularly collective. They may have told someone that you were codependent, you were toxic, you were karmic. Yeah, they told people you were very uh, karmic, very toxic. Uh, you were weighed down by life, but the whole time you were an ascendant master, right? So out of the lies this person was telling uh, me, it is out and it's causing some type of conflict behind the scenes. Someone may want to communicate with you. Could be a king of swords going through some type of tower or trying to cause some type of tower to a commitment to an emperor, right? That sees you as wish fulfillment, wants to come towards you to give you some type of friendship. And he's hoping that 
that it is going to lead to some type of marriage or something. So someone may want to propose to you in the near future or something like that. Uh, someone is under judgment right now. This emperor could be going through some type of e some type of epiphany that he may have given to the wrong person when, even though he knew that you were the one he one he had a lot of uh emotions for so that wrong move that he made is weighing him down it's causing him burdens he does not know how to come towards you how to approach you he does know that you are an empress but he did take some type of action before to weigh you down and cause you distress someone may have been trying to trap you someone may have tra been trying to isolate you from other people so someone may have been telling a whole lot of lies and things like that to people what I see is that there's an older gentleman working with a, a third party, a feminine energy, and they are working together to cause mayhem in some type of communication between two people, okay, or just telling a lot of lies and things like that to cause some type of burden burdens between two people or in two people's lives or their connection so this is a tower because this is some type of revelation people did not know so think about like you and either if you're a masculine you and a feminine if you are a feminine you and a masculine you know you meet your friend you you develop some type of really nice friendship you chat every day if this is at school maybe the masculine stops by in your classroom to visit with you or in the hallway to visit with you in the cafeteria or wherever this is if this is at work maybe the masculine comes to your office you go to his office and you two chat because you've developed some type of friendship right and then all of a sudden someone starts avoiding you right and you start noticing a lot of conflict going on around you and you're like what the heck is going on this person used to be real uh diplomatic very friendly very courteous and things like that what the heck is going on that is because there were people behind the scenes taking action to put an end to this what this connection there were third parties causing conflict in this communication uh i mean in this union uh blocking him from seeing you as wish fulfillment because they wanted they had some type of ulterior motive and this is something that was hidden so the masculine or the feminine take it whichever way it applies if you are a feminine energy then it's the masculine if you are a masculine energy then it was the feminine they uh, are being misled by a group of third parties and they don't know that they are being misled about you and they start keeping their distance and then they start you know indulging in things that really are not healthy for them so if someone was karmic before their interaction with you was doing some type of healing for them but then when they stopped interacting with you because someone told them a lie they went back to their old ways right because someone held you in a very high regard so they were putting an end right to all their karmic ways and trying to live in the upright but there could have been a woman behind the scenes causing a lot of uh uh um uh, uh, towers lots of endings lots of complications and now she's way down because what the truth is out so this person want, wants to come in the other party opposite of you collective the divine masculine or the divine feminine wants to come in and give to you and this is an offer of commitment that he does want to give to you because he sees you as someone solid right so now what it is is that they're all playing some type of mental game with him this is a whole collaboration of an a community uh it may have started with like two people and then it escalated to something to where it's like a whole institution working against two people and they don't know like they they have people working against them it went from two people to a whole community trying to hinder a relationship but this is like a relationship that's meant to be this is something that's very high level uh very high vibrational this is a soulmate connection okay um this could be like a past life connection and you two meeting or coming together is going to lead to some type of new beginning you are going to have to be open-minded i said new beginning and the death card came out which means that you two will be going through some type of rebirth together okay you two balance each other out in some way shape or form um like you yeah you balance each other out like you may be you as the divine feminine, the DF, you may balance this man's beast within. Uh, so this could be someone that has dated a lot of people, has been dealing with a lot of toxic behaviors and things like that, and never met anyone that was able to tame the beast within him. And not that that's your job, but there is something about you that makes this man want to be a better version of himself. So that is what you give him. And he's very grateful to you about that or for that. And then... 
he, this is his energy when it comes to him protecting you or giving you some type of healing. Someone is advocating for you behind the scenes. So while you're there being calm and healing him in your subtle ways, he's out here being a warrior, an avenging angel, right? To protect this union and things like that. Whatever this is coming together because the two of cups doesn't always have to do with relationships. It can just do have to do with two parties coming together to manifest a new reality as far as business creating a successful business together but it doesn't always have to be like a twin flame union or something like that a twin flame connection um it could be a twin flame connection but also it could be like you two will come together to have both romance uh you know relationship and uh, a business connection a business relationship and it will be very successful someone may be taking action to communicate with you maybe walking away from this community because he is go he is doing some type of self-actualization and seeing things from a higher perspective someone is healing and learning how to tune the rest of the world out so someone may be traveling towards you uh, to bring balance into a situation because they know the truth now that you are someone very modest right uh, so this is this could also be like a king of wands that has found the courage to go towards someone else or to take a new path in life because he wants to grow with you give to you have a family with you uh things like that i picked up on a king of wands behind the scenes that's very karmic this is someone who is a thief so you may want to be wary of him so you could have two masculines two three four masculines that are interested in you just be cautious because there are a few that want to come in and cause you some type of hindrance what i'm getting though like the actual person you're supposed to be with they are sneaking away or finding some type of sophisticated way to get away from a group of people or someone that's very karmic so that they can do some type of traveling but that's something that's in like the like that that is something that they are still trying to figure out but they do have foresight of who you are and they are standing their ground to these people holding back from these com from this community or whoever this is it's not wanting to commit with who excuse me not wanting to commit with whoever they're presenting him to be with this could be like uh you're no longer in an environment or in a masculine's life or in a feminine's life and then they go and find your photocopy and try to get him to see that person as you but it's not working there's something where people may have been paid or someone may have been paid like a high priestess was paid to cause some type of conflict between two people right so she was paid to do some type of witchcraft it's like hey i need you to do some type of spell where this woman can leave this community because i don't want her connecting with this man i need him to hold back from her because if he commits to her it's going to be a solid commitment and they're going to be successful in life and be very protective of everything that they're investing in right so someone went to a high priestess behind the scenes and paid them to do some type of spell work, some type of voodoo, so that this woman could leave an environment and put an end to some type of connection or something. You as the feminine energy, this king of cups may not know who, why it is you left. When you left, maybe people told him that you know, uh, you abandoned your duties, you did this, you did that, you were negligent, uh, your job was overwhelming for you, you couldn't handle it, and you were feeling at what you did, and it's not true. They may have even told him that you are doing poorly in life when you're actually out here living your best life, and this is a tower for a community because they've been telling the masculine that you are this, you are that, you're living in, in poverty, you're into spell works and things like that, but the whole time you are content in life. And with him knowing the truth, someone may have a lot of passion for you, may want to take some type of action and come towards you. Be cautious of a king of swords behind the scenes that's going through some type of, uh, uh, um, throwing some type of temper tantrum behind the scenes because he's at some type of stalemate. Someone does not have control of his emotions. Maybe uh, in competition with a king of cups as well. It's like everyone is in competition with a king of cups, king of wands energy for their soulmate. It's like, it's a, uh, you know, I think I'm better than you. I think I'm more worthy to be with your divine feminine than you are. There's something like that going on in a masculine's life. And so that masculine may be taking action, right, to, to reveal himself to you or something like that. I don't know what this is. Most of these masculines are dealing with a lot of toxicity, some type of mindset that they've been 
uh, embracing for a long time. I was trying to figure out how to put that out, but they're figuring, they're, they're learning that they cannot come to you in this energy. They have to come to you in this energy. So they cannot come towards you with lies. They can't come to you with their toxicity. You're not going to be in, uh, indulging in any of this low vibrational activity. You're not, they're not coming into your life to trap you. You're not someone that's meant to be trapped. You're meant to be out here sailing into the sunset and living your best life single or taking. Okay. So they're going to have to do some type of healing. I'm telling you, they're going to have to do some type of healing. Okay. If they want to have some type of opportunity with you. And of course that makes sense because you're a divine feminine. Um, so they can't just come in and give you some type of uh, mediocre offer and expect you to settle down with that. Uh, so there is something, I had this weird dream where it's like someone, yeah, I'm telling you, all the lies are revealed, everything, everything is being balanced out. Someone has been telling lies for a long time, for a long time, to keep someone trapped, to block two people, to prevent things from being balanced out. To prevent someone from being presented with an opportunity, someone having a fresh start. They've been doing a whole lot, trying to block your options, your offers, anything you can think of. Someone has been doing, a group of people, a couple has been doing a lot behind the scenes to block you from receiving offers. They may have even paid. Yeah, they've been doing a lot to trap your offers, hold on to your offers, block your offers, whatever this is. They may have even paid or they may have been paid to block two people from coming together. Uh, yeah, this is a couple that has been collaborating with a group of people to destroy some type of connection. They've been very much determined. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know why this fell like that. This is a couple that's been working together and collaborating with a group of people to destroy some type of connection. Okay. They may have told this masculine, Hey, yeah, they, they're very determined to defeat you. They don't want anything being balanced out. They don't want this chapter being closed. They want you staying single, but that is not your future. You will be about uh, getting married and abundant. They may have told a masculine that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know you say you have a lot of emotions for this person. It's probably just lust because they're very beautiful. So it's really, it's not really anything more than that. Whatever it is you're wanting from this person, you can get from another woman. But there's something about you that this person has not been able to get over. And this could be because you two have some type of contract together. Um, so... Someone may be coming towards you with a friendship and they're hoping it's going to lead to some type of marriage or something like that. And this is going to lead to some type of defeat for the whole community that has been tampering with justice or balance taking place. Okay. Uh, there is some type of payment. I keep hearing payment. Someone was paid to do something. Someone was paid to interfere with a union, to weigh you, to, to weigh you two down, to sneak attack you all. Block your victory, steal your victory so that you two could not have this love connection. And someone is very burdened behind the scenes because someone is still choosing to have a new beginning. And they may even be hiding what it is they're doing to make sure that they have wish fulfillment. Okay. There's a king of swords in here. Someone's very impulsive. Maybe someone that is not as especially uh, or exactly respectful. Uh, someone may be angry behind the scenes because you may have spoken some type of truth um, about our actions. He was taking behind the scenes to hinder uh, you and someone from coming together. Like someone is very reckless. Like someone's very impulsive in a lot of different ways and they may be pissed off behind the scenes. Why? Because you spoke the truth about some type of impulsive action they took after you revealed the truth or you saw the truth about them. Right? So they may be feeling like why well, you betrayed them, even though you don't know this person. So they want to come in and put an end to your new beginning. Someone may be planning some type of sneak attack for you. Um, but you see this person coming a mile away and your ancestors want you to know that you are protected. So are your investments and you need to stand your ground and you will be just a okay. Okay. Uh, they, I don't know what this is, but there could be like a higher fan behind the scenes that's sticking some type of action to tell the truth, to clarify something. Um, so just keep that in mind that you could have supporters behind the scenes that you are not aware of. So whatever this crazy man is planning to do, let him go ahead and do it. Um, I had a dream where there was like, so 
it's like in the dream i was watching this woman right so i kind of took over her body to see what the heck was going on emotion wise which is typically what i do in my dreams so she and her friends they go out um and they go out to eat at this restaurant and someone comes and they release a snake in the restaurant in the restaurant right uh, and this was like towards the end when the when the group of friends were done eating, someone went and released a snake really quickly and disappeared out of the restaurant. So then the I think it was like three or four friends they received or they asked for like the to go to go boxes boxes, um, and they they all got their uh, to go boxes right. So they prepped their food, put it in the to go boxes, and then they were leaving, and then this snake. The woman that I took over, this snake, you know, put its eyes on her and it starts following her around. And these people that didn't, did not drive to the restaurant, they walked to the restaurant. It was like, you know, you and your group of friends, you get together, you say, well, you know, AAB restaurant is right down the street. Let's go ahead and walk together so we can enjoy the weather, something like that. So they're all walking back home and this snake, it's like the snake was intentionally put there for that woman, right? So it's following them around as they walk home. And it's like this woman cannot lose this snake. This snake is not losing this woman. It's like whatever turn she makes, this snake is making it. Like the snake is keeping its eyes on her. And the snake is not very big. The thing is very skinny. It was red. Very, a uh, very little, I mean like very skinny in size, but very long. But it was like coiled up and the way it was... um. The way it was uh, uh, crawling just didn't look normal. It's like something was wrong with this snake. Almost like it was some type of monitoring spirit that was sent to just torment this woman or something. Um, or what I also perceive is that there's a snake that's watching someone as far as someone very malicious is watching you. Um, trying to plot your ending and things like that. So it's like everywhere she went, this snake kept following her. It, she would like lose sight of it for a few seconds and then it will be right there again. It never lost sight of her. So it gets to a point where like even I think she went to work, the snake was there. It wasn't doing anything to her, but it was just there, like letting her know that I'm here. I can see you. And she wasn't afraid or anything. She was just confused. She said, what the heck is this snake? Why is this snake everywhere that, I, that I'm at, right? Uh, and then she goes home close her door, you know, the snake is there too. And I, she, I'm just like, what the heck is up with this snake? At some point, this snake would have been hit by a car or something. Um, and it still managed to find its way to this woman's house and ended up like it appeared in her house. It didn't crawl into the house. It appeared. So there's some type of monitoring spirit. There's someone very malicious, very wicked, and there's someone very angry behind the scenes that's watching someone and plotting your ending what i also got today was some type of message is that someone someone may send you a packet uh a package someone may deliver something to your house do not open it be very wary of packages you're about to receive because someone may pull like a snake in a box or something to send it to you and as soon as you open it it's going to come out and do you something so be mindful if you didn't order something you're not expecting a packet or something and one just appears to your door be very cautious i would leave it sitting out there for about a month or something before you open it because what by that time maybe that snake will be long out of here and then when you open it there's nothing there to worry about right or just you know follow your intuition if you know you didn't order something just you know maybe get rid of the packet don't even bother opening it or just you know put it on the side of the i don't know wall or something wait for three months wait for six months before you open it you'll know something is off when you start hearing movement and stuff like that in the box you'll know something or someone sent something so be cautious there could be someone taking some type of impulsive action because you spoke some type of clarity yeah you communicated something and someone may be upset you communicate communicated something about a group of people working together right to yeah, they were working together and they thought they were in the clear, but you spoke some type of message or you reviewed something that brought clarity into a situation and it's causing some type of mayhem and ending conflict and everything like that behind the scenes. These people are going through some type of tower. Okay. Um, 
about how two people were working together to to cause endings for two other people. It's like it's almost like a karmic couple working against a divine couple. Like they're trying to swipe places with you two. That is what I'm getting. Okay? So you have a karmic masculine, an older masculine, and an older woman. But the older woman, she looks a little, you know, young for her age. Or she looks very well taken care of to some type of extent. But the both of them got together to destroy a divine union from taking place, basically. So maybe people didn't know that in a community. But now they're going to find that out when they watch this video. Yeah, they didn't know that there were people working behind the scenes to cause towers and burdens for feminine energy. Um, and now, and that is why this person was, you know, standing their ground. And, you know, certain times when you're going through certain battles, people don't understand why you're in this energy and why you're not really wanting to talk to them. You're kind of keeping to yourself and just kind of going on by your day. They don't realize that you are having to fight behind the scenes, but still trying to maintain balance physically. But you may be feeling a little bit under the weather a lot of the times and things like that because people are doing things to hinder you behind the scenes, trying to cause you heartbreak, block your fulfillment, block your hope and everything for you, right? So there's something like that, okay? Anyways, I'm going to leave that here. Let me do our Oracle card reading. Yeah, this is your future, darling, Ten of Pentacles. There's a whole family that's burdened behind the scenes because maybe the truth is out, Um there's a family where they are like really worried because the truth is out about two people will be coming together, I mean, extremely quickly, okay? And they will be working together, having closure in order to move on, right? And the universe wants you two to know that you are on the right track. You're not doing anything wrong. Maybe you and your partner are mirroring the same energy, but you're far away from each other, okay? Interesting. Whoo. All right. It's hiding here. Oh, yeah. 10 10. Something is over. Okay. There's a, a karmic cycle. It's over. But there is someone behind the scenes. I saw like a queen of swords that may want to take some type of action, which I'm not going to say what she's going to take, but whatever she's going to do is going to help bring this chapter to an end. Um, but collective, just be mindful. Uh, just stay alert because there's a woman out here that's mentally unstable that does not want a cycle to end. She wants some type of karma cycle to keep going. So she may still be out here trying to pay people, bribe people to do something. Um, and let her keep going. Okay, let her keep going. It said, Tintin, 10, 10, uh, keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. I am patient. So be patient with yourself. Be patient with how your journey is going. There's a lesson in every stage and you need to make sure you're taking the time to learn the lesson and learn what it is you're supposed to pay attention to the symbols and synchronicities and things like that around you so that you don't miss a beat. Uh, it's a gentle release. And remember, we started out with the pipe, the pipe, right? Letting go of things that no longer serve you, letting go of people, places, and things that no longer serve you, flushing, doing like some type of flushing, whether it be spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, psychological, you need to flush certain things out so you can move on with your life. And now it says gentle release and be gentle with yourself as well as you release all of these negative energies in whatever forms they are in your life. It said, let yourself surrender to the flow of life's mysterious current. Just go with it. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read and goodbye for now.